Hey guys, A-Rod here. Welcome again to another 360. We are at Ansira Buick GMC in Bernie, Texas. And we're here to do one thing and we're gonna be covering this one right here. The awesome looking Buick Avenir. Pretty progressive looking, look even better in the inside. So stick around because we're gonna go 360. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go here real quick so you guys can get the three-quarter look. Looking pretty slick. I gotta say, Buick is coming a long way, making things more modern, more younger, you know what I mean? So that's a good thing that brand is doing. So let's come to the front, straight on, and this is what it's looking like, and of course, definitely straight on this way. Not too bad. I like the lines, a little sporty. That's pretty good for the brand. Uh, you see a lot of chrome all around. The chrome is surrounding and framing the whole grill. And speaking of the grill, let's get closer. You got this like X that make the grill. And you can see guys, it's like three dimensional X's. So that's pretty neat. I like what they've done here. It's like X's that point outward. So that's pretty cool. Then we have, of course, the chrome line going across. And then, of course, you get the Buick full color emblem in the front. It's cool, it's three dimensional. It's not like a cover with a one flat, like, you know, plastic piece, clear piece on top. It's just nice, the three different colors right there. And you got your camera here at the bottom. This is gonna help you with all the 360 and front viewing and all that stuff. Then we come underneath. We have true venting, and it, once again, the excess are carried at the bottom too. So they are also down here as well. Then we got some chrome touches of right here. Okay, this is not a true vent. This looks like one, but it's not. And then we have the headlight here in the top. Very cool, I like it's this one big swoosh coming down very sleek looking the design in the interior is neat you can see the tiny little um, Buick emblem in there hope you guys can catch it it's right there okay so it's like etched in and then yeah they have like this like LED strip and then one single LED bulb um, on to basically making the one headlight is just one single LED bulb Okay, as we start going to the side, we come down to the wheels. We got six dual spoke wheels. Uh, not too bad at all, I like them. They're a pretty good design. Uh, I gotta be honest, I didn't expect them to be that nice. So uh, they're looking good. It fits the vehicle perfectly, very sporty looking course aluminum wheels very nice very sturdy uh, silver calipers uh, right here you get to see what's going on between the tire and the fender okay and then the fender there's not a separate material or anything the fender itself is the, the the panel the body panel bending over and making it look like there's a fender there so that, that's also uh, part of the trim then we got a little like a uh, uh, let's see, no, it's not a fake vent. There's some venting that could be happening through there. And some chrome touches right here on the top side vent. Got the Avenir logo right there in chrome. And then body color side view mirrors. Okay, with a built-in light for the blinkers, turning signals. Okay, and then you get some chrome features chrome line at the bottom running all the way across so giving a little that extra touch of luxury for the Avenir. The Avenir is the highest trim in the Buick SUV line so basically the equivalent to like a Denali you know so it is going to be very luxurious in the inside too you guys okay the windows yeah we have some chrome as well that goes and surrounds the whole side windows so very nice, it's completely on top and the bottom and the rear. The rear window is not 
quote unquote frameless because it does have the trim around it here on the top, the, the rear and the bottom. Okay. Of course the wheels are the same. And then as we get to the back, this is a three quarter look. So it's pretty good. It, it reminds me of a, what is it? Like a Ford Escape or something like that, like a bigger version of the Ford Escape, but obviously a lot nicer and with a lot more luxuries inside. Now we get to the back, straight on, very nice, some nice detail and all that stuff. Then you, you get to see here that it touches a little bit on what GMC is doing, you know, making that C, you know, how it goes around and comes down again, that boomerang feel for it. Okay. Looking nice and clean. The, 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 the red, the material is very, very good, very sturdy. And you get a chrome strip going around all the way through. You got the Buick emblem again, three dimensional here on top. You got the enclave in chrome. And Sierra is the, the name of the dealership that we are featuring here this car at. Once again, very cool with the swoosh of the boomerang or the, with the tail light. Okay, here we got like a built-in wing as you guys can see. Stands out just a little bit. And then at the bottom here, we got your camera as well. Okay, that's where they are located. Now when we stay back, we can take a look at the trunk. I get out the key fob. And then we obviously press twice. And then up it comes the lid of the trunk. So what is that what does that show us? It's a three-seat vehicle. You guys can see three rows of seating. Very cool. You wouldn't expect that from the car when you're looking at it from the outside. But that's nice, you know, at least you have it as an option to carry people and stuff like that whenever you need to. They're all right here, okay? Uh, able to uh, sit in them and use them just fine and making it a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven passenger vehicle. Okay, when looking at the, they have automatic drop seats, okay? So when you press it, it will drop automatically. Okay, and then you can also bring it back up again. So they both offer that feature. So that's really neat. It's not like you have to do it yourself or anything like that. The trunk space, even with the third row seat, I'm surprised. It's not too bad, to be honest with you guys. It, 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 it does offer you a lot of space. So it's a mats here, but you can see the man has the emblem of the Buick. And I'm sure this right here, yep, you get a... Uh, cigarette lighter adapter right there on that end there's some hooks that you can use to hook some netting or whatever you like here so that's nice as a as an option to have on both ends of course all right so that's as far as the trunk is concerned and of course we can press the button and then it closes back down by itself very neat okay so this three-quarter look from here I like it. It has a good size for an SUV. If you like, you know, if you just want to be going around town very often and things like that, this could be the one for you. For exhaust pipes, very nice. Two exhaust pipes. Can you believe it? And also finish in the silver trim. So one on each end. Okay. And then we have like a nice little silver trimming at the bottom of the the lid. All right, so we come around and we see the gas tank cap, obviously is right here. Um, basic, simple. Top offers us some also silver on top, railing on top. So that helps the car to give a little luxurious look when it's silver also on top as well. Okay. The handles have body color handles and also a strip of like chrome silver in them. 
So I hope you guys can see that. And of course the built-in button to open the door. Let's open the door and you guys can take a quick peek at the inside, which is like, wow, very nice. I like, I really like the dye of the, of the, of the uh, leather. But anyways, we'll be there in a minute. Let's open the hood and see what it has to offer for us. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Let's open this hood. Here we go. All right, so in this particular Buick, there's the Buick Avenue. Oh, wait, wait, not the, well, yeah, it is an Avenue, but it's the Buick Enclave Avenue is the highest stream, you guys. So, you know, it's the top of the line. And what we have here is a 3.6 liter V6 engine. So not too bad for a mid-size. It's 310 horsepower at 6,800 RPM with uh, 266 pound-feet of torque. So pretty powerful for, for what it is, you know? I mean, it could have a lot of, a lot of leads, but with 310 horsepower, I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, if you order the front wheel drive, you will get around like 20 CD and 30 highway miles per gallon. Or, but if you go for the all wheel drive, it will be 20 city, 29 highway miles per gallon. So um, still very efficient um, for what it is. This power is good enough to pull 5,000 pounds of trailering. So when towing, you know, a good jet ski and stuff like that, we still make it just fine with a small boat and you guys will be good to go. All right, let's go check out the inside. All right, you guys, so we are inside the Buick Avenue and it's looking pretty good once again buick is coming a long way because this design and you know features and things are really showing off and i really like this one uh, they've done a lot of things to it and it's more modern and i think people are gonna like it just like as much as i'm liking it so far so let's step inside and see what it offers we we'll obviously will start with the dashboard which I think is really neat. You guys can see it's like almost sloping all the way to the front of the dashboard. It's almost like part of the top as well. So that's neat. It's like one curve down dashboard. And I like that. It's, it's, it's really cool. It's a new way to look at it. I also like, yeah, this is a hard material, so that's fine. But it turns into a nice, beautiful leather. These dyes are really nice. It's like like red wine color it's beautiful uh very sturdy it seems like it'll last forever um so the dual tone is really cool you get some stitching as you guys can see there's a nice stitching right there i wish it was dual stitching but that's fine um and also the leather itself wraps around the cluster the instrument cluster so that's really i haven't seen this really in any other car where the leather literally comes also into the cluster and that's what surrounds the whole cluster it doesn't change into anything else so very neat um, then of course it takes off the leather and then you end up here by your passenger side and this is a cool design too what they've done is that you know they take the, the metal trimming taking it off taking off from the ac vents and swooshing all the way down to the center console basically ending at the steering wheel so that's neat that's a way good cool way to frame the whole thing and along inside of it there is some fall wood barely you can tell that the texture that uh, is like you know to see like it's a fall wood but it's still very luxurious nicely and then it fades into this black bl piano trim so that's really cool so the black piano trim itself fades into wood going that way and it fades into this black piano finish going this way very cool i like that a lot um, so that brings us to the here we have the lcd nicely centered within the silver trimming so the silver trimming encases the lcd very cool and of course within the encasement you got the ac vents large ac vents these things is a, it's a look at how big this is a lot of you know air coming out so that's neat for hot days you, you appreciate that little trim of chrome built in very nice you got your hazard lights right here you got your parking assist and of course you keep lane assist so these things are going to let you know if you step out of line you know maybe you fall asleep or something the chair is going to vibrate and help you wake up and you know pay more attention okay then we come to the lcd 
Of course, usually it's not this big old screen or anything like that, but it's, it's neat, see? Looking at it from the side a little bit, you guys see how it stands out, it's like cutting, it's, 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 it's a little bit forward, and so that's, that's really neat. It's almost like it was pushed forward by itself, and it's like the glass makes it very, very cool looking. And it, I like the way it's kind of set up. It just, it's the way that's just pushed forward and not at the same, uh, I guess, level like the buttons are. So once again, you got your home button and then you go, of course, you got navigation, you got uh, radio, uh, just like the, um, what do we call it? The GMC, uh, all the products and stuff like that. This is their new setup, their new technology, and it's so responsive, so nice. It's really, the colors are nice, crisp and clear, and broad daylight, it looks really good. It doesn't, it's not faded or it's not like, you know reflecting back at you you see everything like really well done so the size is kind of small but it fits the truck perfectly so uh, i'm liking it then of course we go back to everything you could want audio it's so sensitive you guys you touch it and it's like it goes it's, which is what's neat all the options you want Sirius xm you know hd radio hook up to audio all that stuff you know then of course you got your phone to set up all your phones that you need uh, uh, your recent and your and your contacts and all that stuff is always available here uh, in home menu then we can switch this way so you can see more options wi-fi hotspot the users to set up the profile the users that different person can have their own profiles within the car the settings once again everything you can set up here different phones and voice recognitions and applications you can download and have you know and then of course the lighting and comfort and all that stuff even like teen driver to make sure where the, you know control the teen driver where he's going how far how fast he can go and all that stuff valet mode when you can put in the code and you know block some things of the of the features that you may want private and you don't want the valet code the valet guy to know anything like that so so many options a plethora of different options this is obviously we cannot cover them all but you can see on star services the camera once again this one gmc has done a great job with all the cameras all around you know as you guys can see if you want to back up then it helps us with backing up and reverse and all that stuff you know um then you can also move to the forward camera and the rear camera and then of course you can have the 360 as well so bird eye view of the 360 where you are what is your surrounding looking like the views directly from the side view mirrors telling you what's there what's not there and also helping you know what you, how you're going to curve the car and all that stuff it can also trail believe it or not you can hook up a trailer to this one so that's neat you can have like the luxurious you know good size suv and still you can pull a trailer with it so that's a good you know good things that you can have and options to do that once you have a trailer very cool we can come back always to home and here we are again once apple carplay andrew auto all the things that we talked about my buick of course download the app in your phone and from your app on your phone you can turn on the car you can know how you're doing with uh, gas you know all this stuff you can turn on the heated seat um, it's amazing so once again technology coming along all the way perfectly all right as we come down we bypass another, the, 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 the leather trim that we talked about. It goes back to the black piano finish, very clean cut, very nice. The engine button is, uh, is, is silver, so I like how it separates. It's, it's, it's not your typical round thing. It has a little design to it, so very neat. And it actually has little lights on it, so that's pretty cool too, the little lights that light up. Here you got more options that, con that also deal with the LCD. So even though the LCD is touch screen, this also helps you navigate uh, through tracks and all that stuff and back and, and, and change screens and all that stuff. So this also has to do with the LCD as well, but it's tactical, you know. Back down here, it gets separated, so that's neat. It's not in the same panel, so I like that. It's keeping little compartments separately to themselves. You get your AC controls. Of course, you get your driver's side, uh, and then your passenger side as well controls. They get to control the temperatures, and you can see very everybody has their own digits and all that stuff. You can turn it off or off. Um, you get heated seats, so that's awesome. Heated seats appear, but only the bottom, you know, the seat itself, not the backrest. You got cool seats too, so that's neat. On hot days, there, you know, you're gonna appreciate that option. And climate control, all that stuff, the buttons that you need, and of course the on and off button. All right, 
as we get down here is open coming up with leather and it opens up to oh let me lower this thing so it's not so loud there we go all right so this right here is your uh phone charger wireless phone charger you just drop it in there let it slide and let it sit there very cool I like that you know you're you're running through your day you just drop it in there and it sits perfectly and it off, off it goes to charge you get some uh, usb chargers there is no usb c so you probably get a big but that's fine you know maybe uh not everybody is using usb c yet but i think they are so you get an sd card as well to put in there slot and input for audio as we come up down the center we have nice beautiful once again fall wood very cool encased with some silver trimming and uh, the uh, the um, cup holders are covered okay awesome love this you guys know this that i always have a pet peeve about cup holders especially in luxury vehicles not being covered i love that it keep, keep things looking nice and clean and you're not collecting dust and dirt that you always have to be looking at so this is a nice thing that they're doing here the lever is you know very much nowadays more futuristic uh it helps it, it, it works by pressing on the on the on the brake and then the button on the side lets you move the lever up and down and all that stuff so that's all you need to do but when you want to go park you just press park and it parks itself okay so it takes a little bit to use to it to get used to it but you know it's something you can learn within a, an hour or so you'll be good to go all right so the leather came down and then it actually you know became the armrest very neat the leather on one side coming over stitched as well and then we open it and what do we have we have your you know nice standard armrest storage with a big tray the tray can carry a lot and then uh you know just good enough storage you can get a little the floor can actually pick up when it's all covered in dust and you can so you can take it out and clean it a lot easier there is no light to speak of or anything like that but good amount maybe for one costco chicken that's it you you get one costco chicken but you have to stand it up the chicken has to be looking up and right in comfort standing up all right so let me close that up and that's it as far as the uh, armrest is concerned then we get here to the steering wheel let's see uh how you guys like the view from here uh, it looks pretty good very luxurious uh once again the avenir is like the denali of the buick so you got the forward wood a little bit trimming into the built-in into the steering wheel itself so that's nice you get a good strong grip there leather all the way around the rest of the steering wheel you get the, the cute little buick emblem in color i really like that that they've gone out of the way and done that because you know it could have been silver but making it color full color is really neat and i think people really like that a lot because i do so i'm sure some people do too <laughs> all right then you get all the buttons you could ever want to control the screen uh, in front of you and also options to heat a steering wheel and voice control and over here controlling the menu as you guys can see uh, different things change over there in front of the instrument cluster uh, you got your volume controls too right here just up and down changing tracks so very neat very neat a lot of options to choose from and um, it looks nice this looks nice this is a little tiny lcd in the center and so it's not a full-on lcd but it's like seems to be big enough to fit the type of car we're in you know the type of clientele that buys this car that seems like perfect for them and it gives you all the information that you could ever need it also have has the gap adjust so it lets you know how core how close you want to be to, to your car next to you and and you know alert you you know in time of a warning before you hit somebody in front of you all right so when we come to this side over here then they have come over with the same design of the ac vent the cool little you know silver trimming coming around swooping around they also got the fall wood right here so that's neat and then remember this whole leather ordeal came all the way over here and stopped right here so very nice the dual tone that looks nice here you got all your audio i mean audio <laughs> auto lighting 
to control and then the parking brake is right here and then of course to lit up the instrument cluster is right here as well how much lit light you want to do that so that's very neat okay so uh, as you come to the door you know the door is uh you know it's simple normal door uh, I like that they have done two double tone leather, so that's nice. But this this leather is really nice. It's the dye is beautiful. I, I you know I really like that a lot. You got the fog wood on top again here, and then you got the silver touches right here. The handle itself is in silver. You got, you got your automatic door locks and memory settings as well. And then of course your window, your power windows, and your power side view mirrors are all right here built in. Um, then you come down and then you get a map pocket on the door and then you get your gate controller and gate opener right here so you press the, this and then it open the gate for you and um, and depends how much you like to open it you can choose that all right um, they have both audio so that's neat the speakers built in into the door so like that then you obviously get also the avenir door seal too it's covered right now but it's in silver very nice to come in to welcome you when you step into the car you get the veneer door sill all right so that's the door and as we come up again of course we got your handle right here you got your microphone so people can hear you very nicely when you're talking to the system you got your sun visors very sturdy very good these lights it's also dim up so that's neat as you guys can see you open it up and it slowly dims up so that's very hollywood i like that a lot it's a, it's a good thing that gmc has also done it here for the buick as so we open the sun visor it does slide pretty much all the way through so i like that making sure you don't burn your face when you're driving northbound and the sun is on the west side okay a little paper clip right here and it's very it's very light you know it's very light uh uh for as far as the sun visor is concerned we get to the control panel over here you guys you, you get some sunglasses uh, storage of course and then you get your home link system right here for everything that you know turning the lights in the house opening the garage door opening the, the neighborhood gate things like that uh the lights themselves are buttons so that's really neat and uh, then you get the onstar system of course if you pay the membership you know you get all that to uh concierge and if you're in uh, help you out with a restaurant reservation or a hotel or also if you're in trouble you can hit the sos and ask for help and things like that light control for the cars also from here general uh, light control button now we have a sunroof here it's not panoramic roof but this is where we'll you know open the roof and open the tilting of the roof one of the things that uh I wanted to point out is when we come and speak of the sunroof yes it is a sunroof but we also have a second sunroof in the back so it's almost like a panoramic and I like this I I forget right now which other car had these two sunroofs and I remember that I did like it a lot uh, you know even though it's not a one single panel completely window panel uh, it's cool that it's broken in tools. It, 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 it gives it a little extra. It's, it's like it's, a, it's unique, so um, it's a good thing to have too for the people back there. Uh, maybe the people in the third row seat can get more, you know, daylight coming in because they can actually place the, that window further back than being a one single, you know, window panel. One another big is that this shade is manual so we are in a 56 56 thousand dollar car you guys and i'm just surprised this is a manual shade you know you know that's a lot of money to have to still press the button to open the shade unfortunately so hopefully soon it will be automatic because it should be at this price point but aside from that it looks good it lets a lot of air i mean light come in uh, the passengers in the back obviously get to see things through the windows and all that stuff okay so we come down to the seats my goodness beautiful seats nothing bad about them love the color the the the, the dye of the leather is beautiful this like you know red wine color the avenir name has been like you know uh, embroider in so very nice very luxurious uh, as you come down you get perforated leather so very neat that's nice 
they're very sturdy um, so soft as well I love once again the, the color uh, the double stitching is really cool the, you know I'm glad they included that the gray piping as well so very cool seats they're, they're, they're they feel strong they feel like they're they're gonna hold you in place as you drive down the road so yeah I like them kudos for the seats okay so now that's the front let's step into the rear and see what that has to offer all right so let's check out the rear for the passenger side very nice you get two captain chairs this is what's the part of the trim but you can have a whole bench if you wanted to and that's the option so here is backwards the bench is the option if you want to step back and have a bench but when it comes to the avenir it will come like this the two captain chairs and they show our captain because i feel pretty comfortable in them and as you guys can see plenty of leg room right here you know i'm six foot one and you're good to go and then counting the sunroof then you definitely have a lot of headroom as well i mean i have no issues whatsoever here with being feel, feeling cramped or anything like that speaking of the seats it's basically the same seats that we that are in the front i mean I, I, they're almost in identical so that's really cool you know the preferred leather and the stitching and the piping everything is very well done is is they they don't skip anything up whatsoever when it comes to the passengers here in the rear when we talk about here we have packet map packets on the back of the seats a little too small for my costco coupons so but still you can hold them and also here too for the you know bath bath and beyond coupons a little small but i could you know we can fit some good amount of them so and we have to make sure that's important here we do have auto uh climate control so that's neat the people person can come here and choose their own temperature i like the little screen you know then uh heated seats as well so that's good to have that option you got usb charging once again no usb c so that's a okay so then here a 120 charge so it's crazy it has the 120 volt <laughs> you know your typical house charger plug but you don't have a usb-c so that's a little weird i'm surprised by that you know because i can bring my toaster but uh i cannot bring my you know my latest android phone because i you know i cannot plug it anywhere unless i bring my little cube from the home so but okay it does offer that so that's still a like, good thing let me turn this off so i'm not like cooking up <laughs> all right so nice that they offer that option uh once again ample room very cool uh mats floor matting they're they're gone out of the way it seemed very sturdy and all that stuff so i'm gonna step backwards and see show you guys how a person comes in so basically there's a, a grab on handle on the side and then you just grab and pull and the whole thing comes forward okay you can also bring it down a little bit more if you wanted to this way but basically it's like not really folding to itself it just slides over okay and that's how the person access the, the third row seat all right so this gets uh, pretty small now we definitely obviously we're not in a yukon or an atajo so it starts getting kind of small i feel you know the headliner brushing against my hair so it is getting smaller uh the leg room will definitely not be much if i were to bring back the seat as you guys can see i can barely be able to sit straight it's hitting my knees and so uh if you're going for this particular model the third the third row seat is more of an option than a given at all times it's definitely for the grandchildren or the children that you want to put back here because it gets uh pretty cramped let me show you guys how small it gets so yeah it's, it, it's not too much of a space when it comes to like looking at it this way you get a couple of cup holders right here okay and you get a usb charger and that's it but at least you do have some venting so very cool you get some venting right here and you get some lights reading lights as here and venting all over so i forgot to mention the venting over here too you know so the people in the back all get venting so looking at it from here it looks pretty neat you uh you like you appreciate the whole setup for it 
very modern looking, very sporty. I, I like why Buick is coming, uh, is coming so far and uh, they're doing a good job when it comes to that. Not so much for the third row seat, but then again, this vehicle is not built to have a third row seat really up at all times. I think it's more like a, for the person to use as an option. Otherwise, the trunk itself is, uh, as I talked earlier, uh, it's okay, but with them, with them down, it will be a bigger truck. All right, so that's that for uh, the rear seating. Let's go and take it for a drive. Okay, stacking the speed bumps pretty nice, very smooth. Okay, there's some construction happening right outside the dealership. So I'm not sure when, and there's a lot of traffic at the same time. So, let's see here how we can manage to get out. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. So first impressions. Uh, I gotta say that I do feel the luxury that the car offers. So, you know, the quality does come through and you feel the quality of things, the materials being used, um, the features that it offers. You know, you got the cool down seats which I have, we have, which I have on right now. You have the heated also seats as well. So, and it feels quiet too. So once again, you know, when you're thinking luxury and you're pushing, you know, over $55,000, which this one is, uh, you want to, you know, be able to appreciate it and sense the quality of things. And I think Buick has done that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a neat little SUV. It's not as big, obviously, as a, as a Yukon or anything like that. It's the biggest there is for Buick. Uh, but when you're inside driving it, you don't feel like it. You know, you don't feel like this is, is a big, it's such a big SUV like it is. Um, so that's a good thing. The steering wheel fits perfectly. Obviously now that we're in a smaller SUV, the regular size is, uh, steering wheel, nothing but perfect with its surroundings. The peripheral view that I can see and how what I see out the windows is perfect. You know, really not much of, a, of any blind spots or anything like that. I can see everything that I need once again nowadays with windshields being so like uh, smaller and more like slanted the steer the the rearview mirror is so close to the dashboard but i don't feel like it's on my way of, of being able to look out and seeing what i need to see um the rearview mirrors the exterior side mirrors as you say uh offer enough plenty of you know uh of visual of what i need to see and they help out a lot uh, to cover everything. Now, one thing that I notice as I keep driving it, you rarely feel any bumps or, you know, dips in the road. So very smooth. And the engine is also so quiet. But we will know more so as we take this curve right here. Braking is very responsive, so it brakes nicely. We take the curve, very good, nice and smooth, brake again to a stop, very good as well. Now I like the fact that, you know, common familiar things that EMC and Buick share, so that's neat, you know, like, you know, you can drive the Yukon and your wife could have the Buick and it carries on the same little things like the LCD options, are familiar, you're familiar with them. You don't have to worry about learning them again or anything like that. The AC buttons are also shared, you know, things like that. So that's, that's also neat to have two brands that offer luxury um, and be familiar with, with, the, with the buttons that are already offered. I'm trying to get more into the freeway to see how we can feel the throttle and rev up but with the construction and traffic at this time it's getting a little difficult all right so uh, 
obviously when you asking fifty five thousand dollars or so you have to really do your homework you know and, and and make sure you're getting what you're paying for the best product that you can and Buick is offering that you know I feel they've come such a long way from a few years back the you know their the, the advertising couldn't be more perfect when they say you know is that a Buick because people are really liking it a lot it's, it's, it's showing new things more modern better lines and I think what really is helping the brand a lot is more younger you know it's you know it's trying to reach a younger uh, clientele a, a younger customer and uh, I feel with what we covered so far that is doing that I mean the dashboard itself is so modern already as is so they're, they're doing great uh, work when it comes to that um, here pretty soon will be the entry of the freeway sorry it's taking longer than expected to finally get on it but so far so good you know very smooth very quiet not only as far as the atmosphere is concerned but also the engine seems very quiet we'll see if if what it offers as far as engine power is good enough or not here in a bit You know, if you haven't been to Texas, Texas is growing so much. There is so much <laughs> construction everywhere that is uh, crazy that a lot of people have to deal with. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's worth it. It pays off because, you know, improves things and this and that. Efficiency for everybody. Okay, finally. All right, so we are in the freeway. Moving uh, a little bit faster. I like the speedometer is LCD, so it's all digital, digitalized. So let's change lanes. Let's step on it a little bit. Really, you don't feel much of a drag. It's moving very nicely. I don't hear much of a, you know, effort or like you know, like struggle from the engine either. So it, it's a good thing. And you should, you know, when you're on freeways and highways like this, the road, the road uh, noise and things like that are, are, are pretty obvious and I can barely hear it. You know, I can barely hear the road. All right. We're revving up at 3000 RPM. Yeah, very nice. Wow, super nice actually. You know, uh, I didn't expect to be this nice. So I'm glad to see it uh, that it's this nice uh, for the price range. It, once again, so quiet, it revs up nicely. You feel it a little bit in the gas pedal, which is good. You know, you get that feedback. You know, drop pin quiet. You know, the view of the windows, the, the, the visuals from the mirrors is all perfect. Luxury is good. We're gonna exit here. Before we go too long. Responsive, very responsive to be honest. Really sensitive, but in a good way, you know. One quick move of this, barely touching the steering wheel and then it just knows it, I wanna go right, you know. It has lane assist, so obviously it helps you with that, you know, lets you know if you need help, uh, a warning, and, and, and of course, to stay on track. Very nice, I mean, I feel like a, you know, like in, I'm driving an Audi, to be honest with you, probably like a BMW, you know, that's really neat. You know, because you, it's all about the six senses, and you know, they're all, turned on at all times and you know then everything you know visual and sound hearing of course and it smells the, the smell of the leather when I stepped in is beautiful it really smelled really nice obviously it's a brand new car smell but I feel like it's gonna last a while I think the materials are nice they're, they're meant to last and the quality is there 
and you really appreciate that. So uh, kudos once again to GMC and Buick, obviously, um, for this high end level of, with the Avenir. Um, you feel really nice and comfortable with the luxury that is being offered. Okay, so we take this last curve right here and feel how it manages the corners. Nice, smooth, and almost don't really have to brake in order to take a, the curve right there. And all right, let's see here again. Changes gears, smooth as can be. You hardly can tell it's changing gears. I love it, very nice. Good job, Buick, very good job all around. All right, guys, so we're reaching the, the dealership again, and we'll park and we'll go for final thoughts. Okay, so we are done with the 2021 Buick Avenir, you guys. I gotta say, you surprised me. Very, very nice. Good job, Buick. I stepped in and it's like, wow, really blew me away. New lines, younger feel, modern feel, luxury touches here and there. They're doing a great job. I liked it a lot. So make sure you check it out. Make sure if you're looking for an SUV that is still smaller, but with three row seating, go out to the dealership and test, test drive it because I'm sure you're gonna like it as well. I wanna say thank you to Ansira GMC for allowing us to come in and review this car. And of course, thank you to Javier, the salesperson, and Shane, the sales manager, for allowing us to do so. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we promise you we'll keep bringing you new videos that you're gonna like a lot. And then if you're already subscribed with us, thank you so much for being part of the team and your all your support. And of course, I wanna say thank you to my wife for helping out with all the camera work. And let us know what you think in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you guys. So stick around because we'll continue going 360.